In fresh troubles which could link the state mining scam with the former telecom minister A. Raja, who is now in Tihar jail in the Tucci Spectrum case, members of the Justice M. B. Shah Commission, who are probing the illegal mining activity in Goa, are now seeking the details of the environmental clearances given by then Union Environment Minister Andi Mutu Raja for mining leases in Goa during his five year tenure. Former Telecom Minister A. Raja is said to have given environmental clearances for 169 mines in Goa during his five-year term as Union Environment Minister between May 2004 and May 2009 to extract about 60 million tonnes of iron ore annually. A member of the Shah Commission informed that they were looking out for certain documents related to Goa's mining connection with the former Environment Minister A. Raja. Sources inform that many of the environment impact assessment studies on the basis of which the Ministry of Environment and Forests issued the clearances were proved to be inaccurate and were not reflecting the actual position on the ground. Clearances had allegedly been granted despite the mining companies not submitting information on biodiversity or the accurate distance of their mines from water bodies and wildlife sanctuaries. Three mines were given clearance during Mr. Raja's tenure that were only 200 metres of the Silauli water reservoir that supplies water to nearly half of Goa's population. There has also been a report of licences having been granted to 17 mines between 2007 and 2008 within the Netravali Wildlife Sanctuary area in Sange Taluka. This was in direct violation of the Supreme Court order of 2000 that barred mines from operating in Sile Wildlife Sanctuaries. The 17 mines are not in operation at the moment as the matter is before the Supreme Court. Speaking exclusively to Goa 365, senior reporter Kenzel Rodericks over the phone, the director of the Centre for Science and Environment, New Delhi's Sunita Narayan, who has extensively studied the illegal mining activities in Goa and its impact on the environment, said, The stain of illegal mining in Goa was enormous and she was glad that more truth would come out after the finding of the Public Accounts Committee and Justice Shah report on illegal mining would come out in public. I think it's all part of the, you know, the process. I I have no idea about the involvement of the chief minister in this matter. But I definitely think that in today's environment, we need, when there are so many scams that are breaking all over the sphere, he has the right to ask for independent inquiry. And if the chief minister has done and I don't think he has anything to worry about. Uh, view, it is very serious for Goa because Goa primarily remains still an agrarian forest dependent state. And where I went, I traveled in South Goa. And I was a see that a lot of mining was happening along the reservoirs, major water drinking, drinking water reservoirs of Goa. And I, when I met the villagers and I asked them, why are they so angry? Their biggest anger was the fact that the mining happened in the hill above, but destroyed the water that they had for their village, for their agriculture. So let's be very, very clear that, you know, illegal mining is going to be a very important issue and I'm really glad that it has come up in Goa and I hope it will be investigated properly. I think the Justice Shah Commission should have been there yesterday and not even tomorrow. Also, the Public Accounts Committee of the Goa Legislative Assembly, headed by opposition leader Manohar Parikar, which is also studying the illegal mining in the state, has already indicted Chief Minister Digambar Kamath in his report along with other ministers, their kin and the President of Goa Pradesh Congress Committee, Subhash Rodkar.